Rick, let's talk about space junk and debris. You've got thousands of tiny and large objects whirling around at tens of thousands of miles an hour, every which direction. When you're up there in space, how much of a concern are all these floating bullets? Yeah, good question. The orbital debris is certainly a problem, but it is one that, that spacefaring countries can improve by, by controlling the generation of this debris and by removing unused hardware uh, from low Earth orbit. Now, orbital debris, like you said, it could be as big as an unused spacecraft. Maybe it's a, an old uh, satellite that's no longer in use, or maybe it's a spent rocket body that's just kind of tumbling out of control uh, and hasn't re-entered the atmosphere. Or it could be as small as little nuts and bolts or even a fleck of paint. And like you said, Will, this debris could be coming from all different directions depending on, on how the, uh, the, the hardware was launched into orbit. Now, large items are tracked by the Air Force using Earth-based assets. So, so if you're operating in a spacecraft and you got this piece of debris tumbling at you, you could, you're told, hey, you got some orbital, orbital debris coming your way, and you can maneuver by increasing or lowering your orbit, and then the orbital debris passes by you without, without a problem. Some spacecraft, like the ISS, the International Space Station, they're protected from smaller pieces of orbital debris that can't be detected. They have metal shielding on the outside of the critical structures. So this shielding will take the impacts and protect the crew and the critical systems inside the ISS. Now, when I was out on spacewalks, many times I've seen multiple hits on the structure of the ISS. And these strikes are like bullet holes in the side of the metal structures and they form these sharp edges on, on the International Space Station of the outside of the space station. So there are actually two types of danger to a spacewalker uh, from orbital debris. The first is being hit by a piece of orbital debris. That's a pretty low probability. But if you do get hit this, and he puts a hole in your suit, you have a certain amount of excess oxygen, extra oxygen that you would feed that leak and it possibly likely give you enough time to get back to the airlock and get back into the vehicle safely. The second type of danger, which is much more realistic, is that these sharp edges that were created by, by past debris that hit the space station, it could cut open your glove. As you're translating along, you imagine you hit a sharp, a sharp, a sharp corner or a sharp edge, it will cut your glove and could cause a leak. That happened to me on a spacewalk back in 2007 where I was translating along, it was our third spacewalk. My gloves were getting pretty worn out, and I cut a hole in my glove right here. And you could almost see, uh, you could see the inner bladder layer. You know, gloves have multiple layers. So luckily, I cut through all the protective layers, but the bladder was still intact. But as a precaution, we were towards the end of the spacewalk. NASA told me, hey, get inside and stay safe, and we'll bring you back in uh, in a few minutes. So uh, yes, orbital debris is a real problem, but we're, we're learning to control it, I hope, more and more. 